episode 501 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. This is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Went out for a run this morning. It was kind of chilly, but awesome. Um, we are in town today to tour Ashford Ridge and Ashford Overlook. Uh, looking forward to seeing the teams there. Um, Wanted to talk a little bit today, Mark Tulene from J.C. Hart, a good friend of mine up in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, uh, posted, I actually, he has a, a podcast, The Apartment Leasing Show, uh, definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, but I had asked a question last week, um, I saw him while I was in uh, Indy looking at some property, I asked him uh, his opinion on leasing commissions and if they were really necessary in the multifamily space. Uh, and because I have a sort of an alternative view to leasing commissions, meaning I do not think that we should pay leasing commissions or renewal commissions uh, predicated really on the basis that we are a customer service heavy business. We're more heavily invested on the customer service side than we are on the leasing side. Not to say or suggest that leasing isn't a big part of our, our business, but to me the bigger driver is the customer service piece. And so when I'm when I'm motivating or inspiring people based on transactions, suffice it to say that the more transactions we do, the better, right? As opposed to the fewer transactions with great customer service, uh, the better, in my opinion. But Mark provides a really great uh, alternative uh, thought process uh, based on some solid research, solid logic, um, key motivators for individuals that I think is worth listening to. So I would encourage you to check out the Apartment Leasing Show podcast, either on iTunes or Apple Play, depending on which device you have, um, to get his side. Um, and then I would really love to hear from you whether or not uh, you do that on Mark's uh, social channels or you do that uh, on this social channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts about paying leasing commissions versus not paying leasing commissions. And just so uh, I'm fully transparent here. I, I'm not suggesting that we take leasing commissions away and not pay up for that. I would raise base wages uh, to compensate for what leasing commissions uh, would go away. So if you make on average $2 an hour uh, in paid commissions over the course of a year, I would just basically take those commissions away and raise your base pay uh, $2 an hour, which by the way is taxed differently. So it's actually $2 an hour more. <laughs> anyway. I'd uh, love to hear from you. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.